Hi everyone, how are you? Welcome to episode 20 of Binding of Isaac 2013. So the last two episodes have been pretty shocking by my standards. I didn't make a lot of progress. I kept on dying, becoming Blue Baby thanks to the Ankh struggling on a bit further and then eventually dying and not being very happy with the results so um i seem to be struggling a bit so instead of isaac this episode i'll go with maggie which was my old tactic of getting through um the game to get the complete because you get loads and loads of hearts with maggie you can suffer slightly with not having a lot of damage but you can usually make up for it in just brute forcing it by having lots of health so We'll see how we do. Um, we've got a yum heart. The uh, best tactic is to use the yum heart as often as possible when you need it, and avoid using any red hearts on the ground because they can they can wait. Um, don't need to worry about saving your yum heart. Uh, just use it whenever. In fact, I might even use it now, just with half a heart damage, so I can start charging it up again. To have confidence that I can get through without getting hurt too much, um, especially early in the game like this. Okay, so what we got here? Tears up. Ah, uh, get rid of the spitters. Get rid of them. Get rid of the spitters. Um, let's get rid of that as well. Thank you very much. None of your spawning nonsense, Mister. Right, so we've got a bit more. That belt was speed as well, wasn't it? Which is brilliant because that's like the one downside of Maggie is her speed isn't very good. And, um, but that's corrected that issue. So we'll leave that. We'll leave that. And. Oh, that's. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. Oh, and again. And again! Not good at all. Come on, stop hiding. Right. Ah, come over here. Right. So that's where the boss is, but this is an XL cellar, so we've got double of everything. So we want to go and find the other treasure room and all sorts of fancy stuff. So there's our young heart, we can use that. Um Oh this was a dead end. Must all be over this way then. I guess the fir I guess the first levels tend to be quite small, so it's double the size, but it's double quite a small size, so it's not going to be humongously sprawling. It's just going to have quite a lot of stuff, presumably all over here somewhere. So what we got? Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. There we go. The fire spitting at you always reminds me of Bethesda's old, I think it was a SNES game called The Fireman. It sounds really boring, right, that you're a fireman, but it's basically a top-down shooter, but you're fighting fires, but the, there's lots of different types of fires that move around, so it's just like any other kind of, um, you know, fighting shooting game, except it's kind of... It's kind of clever in a way because it's kind of non-violent because you're fighting fires, and it's also meant to like be in the future. So there's a couple of like malfunctioning robots and stuff. So there's a couple of those that you kill, but you're not actually hurting anyone. You're actually being productive and saving people, which I always thought was quite nice. And um, and it, just the actual gameplay is pretty fun. Um, maybe I could find it and. Uh, do a video of it perhaps if you're interested let me know um i think it was just called the fireman anyway <laughs> that was my the option they kind of backed me into a corner there okay so let's clear the poop up and sneaky meat and here's another treasure room so there's a possibility of a secret room above the treasure room as well so what we got PhD. That's cool. <laughs> that's very useful. Hopefully we'll get lots of pills now. So um, so that's not the treasure room there. Um, let's have a look what's in the shop because it's the difference between using the machine and just blowing it up. So we can get the map for half price. That's brilliant. 
Um, we can't actually buy anything else just yet, so we don't need to worry. There's a pill and a blue heart. I guess we don't really need the pill. Blue heart, we could take the pill. We could just save our money if we get any more. Is there a bomb or a key? I think maybe. Secret rooms here. So maybe get a key might be useful. Um, so we've got lots of money here. It's expected we might. Hmm. We'll get plenty more money before the next opportunity, so... Let's, uh... Let's grab the key. Maybe grab the blue heart as well. No, maybe grab the bomb. See, the pill might have been good. The pill might have been something very good, in fact, might in it? Because we've got the PhD, so it's guaranteed to be something good. Um... Well, I'm going to try dropping one heart in the room here. I could try... Oh, uh, no, nah, let's do it. No, didn't get anything anyway. I could have saved the charged yum heart for the boss, but, um, nah. So let's drop a couple of coins in here just in case. <laughs> Might be a bit of a waste. Oh, we got a bomb, though, so that's something. I'll go see that as a sign and blow it up. <laughs> um... Okay. So, pin. Let's move. Oh, no, it's coming at us this way. Okay. Only took one hit. It's okay. It's half a heart. Could be worse. And, okay. Oh, straight at me. Oh, that's not his usual tactics. Interesting. Usually he goes diagonally. Okay, there we go. So, shot speed up. So, that's pretty good. And Widow. Pink version of Widow. Quick. Doesn't seem to be, uh... Might be speaking too soon. Yes, I am speaking too soon. I was going to say, doesn't seem to be dropping spawners. It's dropping these spitty ones instead, which are possibly worse than spawners. Doing uh, flies instead of spiders. Uh, we'll leave that one over there for the moment. They're all out of range. Just finish off the boss first. And some hearts. Nice. And let's finish those off. Okay, so we've unlocked Steven, it seems. So here's a load of money. Maybe I should go back and see what that pill was. Because, um... 17 is quite a lot. Maybe I should save it for a good item. <laughs> maybe I should, actually. Maybe I should I should save the money. Because the pill is going to cost 5. Um, I can pick up more coins. But it's probably not something terribly interesting. So I should just move on. Right, into the caves. Pop up here, get the secret room. It almost looks like a cave sex cell again, but uh, it's not. It's just a normal one. Okay, there's a heart on the ground. I've only got one. Um, I've only got two bombs, rather. This is a range up. Um, let's see what's in here. Lots of coins again. Nice. So, which direction do I want to go? I think I want to go um, over to the right or down because the second room splits off into two rooms. So there's more possibility of there being something useful. Well, for then just one room revealed. Choose that. So this is where the boss is. And that's it, it seems. It's just a normal room above. Okay. And so now we'll go down. Find the shop would be good. Oh, I thought that rock was uh, keeping me safe. Let's try and get rid of that guy. Oh. Maybe I should get rid of that one. 
Oh, this <laughs> this has frustrated me before with three. This is uh, quite well laid out to make it very frustrating. Come on, pop up. Right, there we go. And sort this one out. Ah, oh, it's got no armor. Okay, one bomb in exchange for two, sounds good. Maybe I should go grab that heart. Okay. So let's see what we've got down here. Yep, so here's the shop, so that's good. That's what we want. Hopefully won't be greed, hopefully will be some nice items to buy. Okay, there we go. Um, the ladder. So that's useful. And we'll grab the other key. We'll just grab it all, shall we? My magician, okay. So I feel like I could go and see what's on the end of the corridor to the left, but... Um, I don't... I don't think I will, even if it's the arcade. The arcade, I've only got two coins. So uh, it's not like I'll get a whole lot from it. I've only got one bomb, so I might get a few extra coins from blowing something up, but no. I don't think it's worth it. Okay. Let's do some damage. Oh. Ah, not strong enough to just kill it quickly. I need to keep some distance, it seems. Oh, no, this is not good. This is not good at all. Being too complacent. I'm too used to taking on this boss with... Um, I should have treated it more like um, Envy when I'm really careful. So I'm too used to taking on this boss with loads of damage and you can just, like, rip right through it. And just kill everything in one shot. Okay. So, speed up. Move on to the next stage, at least we've got a little bit of health back. Um, so we really need to be more careful. Okay. In future. Right. These guys. He might have a heart in him as he's like a bright red version. And we're Maggie, which increases chances of all of that business, it seems. Oh, it was a coin, okay. Okay, and one more. There we go. Let's see what's in the secret room. Uh, the Ankh. Yes, we're very familiar with the Ankh by now. Last two episodes. Um, it's come into play both times. It's not necessarily good news when it does because life suddenly becomes very difficult. Um, but it's better than being dead. But it's much easier just not to die in the first place, I think. Okay. There we go. Um. She was up. Literally, see what's up. Um, possibly a waste of time, actually. So we don't really need to clear any rooms that aren't necessary. I'd rather just stay safe, as we've got the map and stuff. But that's a golden key, so that's very useful. So we can get into the shop and or the treasure room without spending any keys. So we'll go down this way because there's one more room, there'll be two. It will reveal two rooms at once, which might be a treasure room or a shop. Those use our heart. And we've got okay, so we've got the spiked room and we've got 
towards the uh, treasure room. And we've got a heart donation machine, which we'll bear in mind for later if we get a. Um, oh, you know what? Did we did we have the PhD this level? We did, didn't we? Um, so the cap increases chances of pills dropping, which combined with the PhD item, which we now can't see because it's been covered up by something else. Um, that could be really cool. Oh, okay, laser beam. Cool. Okay, I'm feeling good then. We've got the laser. I like the laser a lot. It's a lot of fun. Gets even more cool if you get, like, damage power-ups and stuff. Um, let's go over this way. You can get multiple enemies at once. Sweet! Okay. Luck up. Iron Magician. Don't think Iron Magician is going to have any effect on the laser. Oh, that's one nice thing about the laser. It, um, it's very effective against those people I hate. Um, because it cuts right through them. One moment, I'm just going to get rid of this. Just had a... Whatchamacallit, a... Um, a notification on my computer. Just had to get rid of it so I can concentrate on the game. Right. Okay, that's that guy gone. Oh. Oh. He's winning. <laughs> Come on, let's finish him. Pop up. Come on. Where's he? Oh, is it my other eye is shooting a tear still? So you can still have tier power-ups of some kind with this laser, this is technology too, rather than technology. And then that could be really cool because, yeah, that would be really cool. Oh, it's greed. Because you could have like some crazy laser and some crazy type of tear shot as well. Like if I did use Iron Magician, perhaps my tears would be tracking still. I imagine they will. Let's just use it now and see. Yeah, they are. So you can effectively shoot at two things at once if there's something closer that the uh, tiers were going towards while shooting the best spot to get lots of enemies at once. So we've got loads of coins, but um, that's instead of giving us a shop, so we've got to save them for later. Next shop we see. This is a pretty cool look. I might just stand there for a second. Um, so that's going to go away on the next um, next room. <laughs> so we could give a couple of coins to this dude. Let's see if we can get a good item. Oh, very good item. So actually, let's um, try and find the super secret room, shall we? So what order shall we do this in? Let's pop down here. Oh, that was quick. Okay, and it's full of hearts. Brilliant. So actually, how many are in there? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we can max out this, hopefully. Drop three hearts, and we'll just collect all the coins at the end. And again. Nope. No, we've got loads of money though. So that's something. <laughs> um, maybe I should look in that. Maybe something I should have considered. I, I should look in here as well. But it's going to cost me a heart now. Um, oh, and a bit more if I get hit by stuff. Okay, something good? Yeah, flies. Okay, at least that's something. Um, so, not sure what to do with that now. Um, maybe I should clear the last couple of rooms. So we're doing pretty well for ourselves, so... Um, there might be something nice in there. Sneaky meats. Oh, this, oh no, now they're shooting in unison. It's annoying when they're 
shooting alternately because it doesn't give you a doesn't give you a gap to get in there and shoot them. Okay, let's see what's up here. Locked chest. We've got a golden key. Because I've got the golden ticket. Um, speed up, very nice. Oh, this page to actually tell you what they are as well. Or had I just picked that one up already? I'm not sure. Um, should I blow up the donation machine or should I use it one more time? Two more times? Come on, blow up. Ah, oh, loads of money though. Um, I'm really not sure. I'll see if I can get any more hearts from the boss. I'd really like an extra heart container because I'm getting greedy like that. Was there anything in the shop? Oh no, or was it greed? I think it was greed, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, I can't get out. I guess because it was a mini boss room, I can't get out. Um. Okay. Let's go take on the boss. That's Chud. Should be interesting. Oh, hit by a maggot. Careful now. This guy likes eating bombs if I put them out for him. I think I'd rather not use up any bombs unless I really have to though. Um, so I think we're doing enough damage to hurt him quite a lot. I think it's another one of these bosses with multiple hit boxes. Um, so if you've got something like the laser that shoots multiple targets at once, you shoot him head on like that, you're actually shooting him three times at once. So here's another heart container. Um, I really want to uh, get this machine to give us another heart container. Um, oh, I think I'm just going to have to blow it up, aren't I? Oh well. Loads of money for it, anyway. That might come in useful. So, depths. Secret room over here. This is where the treasure room is as well, so that's quite nice start to the level. Some very easy mobs. Yeah, so we've got technology, but we still need some kind of damage power up. Because it's like a very, very weak laser. Um, so it's not the most useful thing in the world. So, bless. So, this is, I don't know if that's more damage. It seems to have made it faster, maybe. Um, but no, damage just seems really low. I think maybe it lowers your damage when you get the laser as well. Um, to balance it because it's like maximum range and can shoot multiple targets. It's a bit OP if you also do loads of damage. Um, so I want to get the damage up on it now that I have it. Here's the shop. So. So what's that? It's a trinket room, is it? Yeah. Not the most useful just yet, but maybe we'll get some cool trinkets. Um, and there's a heart on the floor. Oh, I could have checked the other room safely. So I'll do that in a moment anyway. So I've lost that blue heart. So stand on the gap and then we're... Ah, no! Okay, I seem to be just about... Oh, damn it. <laughs> um... Go in here. Oh, this is alright. He says getting hit in the face. Oh, goodness. So I'm being too complacent. Just getting hurt. Okay, it's clear then. Okay. So we can go get that heart I left behind. I left my heart in San Francisco. Okay. Oh, a machine. Oh, we don't have any keys. Oh, we have bombs, so we can bomb our way across to it, as long as we don't accidentally blow it up. So you keep these down. Try and kill them at the same time. There we go. Use our hearts. Um, 
I think it'll be safe. It won't destroy the machine yet. Okay. And we've been in the shop already, so that we know there isn't anything we want to buy on this level. It's a blue heart, very nice. We can get another trinket as well, that would be cool. More blue hearts, very cool. So this machine gives out trinkets sometimes, so we can double up on our trinkets now. Make the most of having bought that trinket room item. I'm gonna have a sip of tea, I think. Okay, let's keep going. Conflicting message he said, don't leave the house, go outside. Don't leave the house, go outside. Okay, so that's a steep, that's something. So that's Stephen when we're low on health. Um, little Stephen, that is. Okay, that's a key. Moving quicker than is good for me because I can't control myself properly. Oh, left hand. So I think we have safety cap and the left hand. That feels like a nice combination. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so it's this little dude. He wants hearts. So if we can kind of get some spare hearts. Does he take blue or does he take... Will he take red first before blue? Yeah, he will. That's cool. Oh! Let's be sneaky then. Okay. So we can use that to get our hearts back again. Um, and is... Do we want... I do enjoy the... Um, two of spades. I think that's for keys, right? Isn't it? So... I might just use that up. Um... Can't be bothered to carry that about until we happen to pick up another key. Hmm. Two of hearts or devil. Let's just use two of hearts to heal up and then take the devil card. I enjoy the tarot cards a lot because um, I know what most of them do. And it's we are near. It's giving up the yum heart. Is the um, it's a scary thing, especially when we're with Maggie. I think oh, we need the extra damage though, and like some cards grant us that. And oh, it's hard to decide. I think I might go spend some more money on that, on the uh, fortune machine, and see if it gives us more blue hearts. And if we have quite a few more blue hearts, then um, then I'll feel comfortable leaving the yum heart behind. Um, generally, hearts might drop more anyway judgment gives us stuff doesn't it oh judgment gives us one of these dudes okay he might give us a good power up so let's see so it can be a bit more don't need to worry about our money too much because we're going into the womb after these this level and the next one so we've got to kind of use all the money we've got up somehow oh habit <laughs> item martyr no if we've got the item martyr we want to take the yum heart don't we because then every time we get hurt a bit we'll be able to heal, heal the heart up which makes us really ridiculously OP and um, and he's useful actually oh I used up that key by mistake and he's useful actually while in battle um, whereas the tarot cards, I don't, I don't like dropping them in battle because then if you pick them up, you freeze on the spot and that can get you killed. The stars takes you to a secret room, but we've already got a secret room, um, or a treasure room rather. You take the devil. I could take the, uh, take the heart, so that makes hearts drop more often, as far as I remember, and. Um, Maybe our oh, chariot's good. Maybe I'll save like 15-ish for the next stage, just in case there is a good shop. So I think I'm gonna have to take the heart. I think that's the only. I think that makes a lot of sense. If we've got item martyr, 
still not doing a whole lot of damage though, are we? Should I just use the chariot to speed it up a little bit? Okay, so that's next stage of the boss. So at least it's uh, straightforward, although still slow to kill. Yep, see that charged up our heart. I shouldn't have used actually, I didn't really need it. So I'm using, I'm losing blue hearts at the moment, so not red hearts. You can see though um, how much damage it needs. I wasn't really paying attention though. So we're looking very interesting now. Um, I'm just going to skip all those other blank rooms and not, not take the risk. So, so I don't know if they're. Oh, I don't actually have. Pop into here. Oh, it's greed. Should we take him on? I want to clear this room so I can pop my head out all the different sides. We don't know that those rooms were blank, actually. I was thinking I had the map, but that doesn't mean we can see all them. We didn't have, like, the compass. It doesn't mean we can actually see what everything is. But I'd got the, uh. I think I. Uh, yeah, I had got the treasure room and the shop, so. Those are main things. There might have been an arcade as well, but. Never mind, too late now. Okay, so let's look up. Okay. And across. Okay, that's where the shop is. Let's get the shop. And we just killed Greed, so I'd say this less likely we'll get him again in the shop. I've learnt that Greed pops up as many times as he wants nowadays, it seems, since Wrath of the Lamb, but. Um, Hopefully we'll get a nice shop instead, that's a spare heart for us. Okay, so it's up half price, which isn't really going to be a lot of good. Um, so I think I might actually leave that. Yeah, because there's not going to be any more shops. So I could use the hearts, use the hearts, use the coins elsewhere. This is the other annoying thing with low damage it's just takes a couple more a couple more takes to kill someone okay see what's up in the corner that's where the boss is okay cool just clear the way to the boss and that will be mum which we won't be able to come back out afterwards. So, I mean, we're in a pretty good state as it is. Um, just, it's the damage. We just want more damage. Um, and I could have taken the tarot cards and had possibilities of more damage um, with the cards, but it just, it makes a lot more sense to have the Yum Heart with us for the health benefits of staying alive so it doesn't matter if we're killing slowly if we can like just keep on healing up and staying alive that's kind of cancels it out range up okay um but it does make it a little bit slow at least these guys we can kill oh a little bit quicker with the laser i say quicker at least we can hit them every time shame we're not doing more damage <laughs> See a reoccurring theme in this rant about I need more damage. Um, okay, let's see what we got. Tears up, blue heart, and this one is luck. Nice, okay. So here's an arena. An arena below us. Oh, it's a special arena though, so we're not going to get in. Unless we have only one red heart. Or if there's a the super secret special room right next to it, we might be able to bomb our way in. So we could check for super secret special room. Just on the off chance. Another blue heart. See, that's two and a half blue hearts, so it's not bad. I mean, if, we could, if there's a heart donation machine, we can collect a lot of blue hearts and find a heart donation machine to get rid of the red hearts. Which we can get back later. Um, and we could go in that arena. See, that's half a red heart. So if I leave as many as I can. This is Leah yeah, super chancing it for the super secret. Super secret room. 
Um, oh, these guys are a pain, so I'm probably going to lose all my blues by fighting them. All I want to know is the, the secret rooms there. Oh, I killed them all in the process of testing, but doesn't look like it is. So I've got one and a half blue hearts still. Um, let's go for this way. If we can find an arcade. And we need the treasure room as well still anyway. There we go. Let's see what this is. Range up. Oh, there's a super secret. Oh, well, of course, we can see the, see the super secret room because we've got the glasses. I've got that. I don't want to hit those because they'll blow up. Maybe they would have done the same damage anyway, blowing up, than they would have done, like, touching me. I don't know. See, if we use this um, yum heart, then we've got one blue heart. So if we lose that, we can see how quickly the yum heart charges up. Let's... Oh, no, I killed it. Um, I was going to let it hit me, but I killed it by mistake. Let it kill me in the... Let it hit me in the name of science to see how quickly I think charged up. Do we have... We don't have the fly item, I was going to say. Okay. Get another range up. Tons of them. Oh, I hadn't used the last one. I was just holding it. Hopefully they stack. I don't really need them, though, with the laser. My shots go all the way across, though. Like my tear shots, so I guess that's cool. Um... We're not going to need coins after this. There's a couple of machines in the uh, in the womb sometimes, but uh, we might as well try and get our money's worth here. So if we could get blue hearts, have a stockpile of red hearts, and uh, so that we can still heal up before going into Mum's room, but that will allow us to do the arena. That'd be cool. Oh, uh, here's a fly hat. That would be good as well. But we haven't got it. Second chance. Nope. Couple of keys. Nope. <laughs> it's not letting us win anything. Come on. So I love the little expressions that the, uh, the little dude has. Like, um... When you give him money, he goes like, ooh, see? And then he's like all excited when you're playing. Ooh. Okay. Another chance for the hat? Nope. How many coins left? Seven. Here's some hearts, possibly. Nope. If we won anything, we've won a couple of keys and a couple of bombs. Well, so I don't think we even won keys, did we? Is it just the bombs? Okay, so this is a blue heart and a red heart. <laughs> Might not be enough though for what I want. Um, so maybe I should have even left the blue heart in here because if I go and clear more rooms I might lose it again. Yes, please. Let's take it sideways in case we win. We didn't know. They usually don't land on us, no. Um, oh, actually, we won't pick the red ones up anyway, will we? We can just scoot them away. Okay, one more coin after this if we don't win more. Okay, it's two and a half. Hmm, <laughs> we want four total. We might have it, you know, if we look at. No, no, no. Oh. I didn't want to blow that dude up in case we could have used him more. 
Balls of Steel. Oh, that's great. I think we're going to have to then. Um, but two and a half there, and there is some other hearts around. Oh, yeah, and that charges up a... Wait a minute. This is something that's been discussed. Is... See, every two times we get hit, it charges up our yum heart. A yum heart then allows us to make another... That's not what we want, though. We want to go... If it blows up and gives us another heart container, so be it. But actually, the point is here, we want to go in the arena. So any other situation, that would have been awesome. This situation is not actually what we want. Oh, no. It's not what we want. Um, so we definitely got enough to heal back up. If there's another heart donation machine, or if we can get the... Uh, the tarot card. Oh, of course, there's the treasure room as well. <laughs> if we could get another heart donation machine, then um, that would be great. Oh, we don't want boom. Should I pick it up and use it just so it's ticked off? I think I've done that before. Okay. Um, let's go have a look, boys. Was there like a little donator guy? I don't think there was. Was there? He'd come up as a machine. It's not going to let us in in our current state. He's something that takes red hearts first. Um. Yeah. We're rich, I say. Um, let's clear these as well, just for the lulls. Oh, so I'm a bit disappointed. I thought I'd found a way to get into that arena, but I don't think it's going to happen now. Unless a golden key like has a side effect, I didn't know that lets us do that. The half price tag. Um, what was in the super secret special room? No, I think I'm just going to have to heal up and then go and kill mum. Um, still haven't really got any extra damage, whether it was I took it. Um, grab everything. I'll leave my heart a stockpile until the actual boss itself and then we want the heart ready for use for the boss. <laughs> Seems to be a heart over here. Yep. Okay, so I'll just take a sip of tea. So I mean the, the alternative is I could go in there with only one heart but that's extremely risky. I was hoping to do it with the blues to keep us safe. But like the whole point of playing Maggie is I really want to make some progress. Having done two run-throughs with Isaac where we didn't complete much. Um, so I've got to be careful like I was saying at the beginning of this run-through. I've got to be careful and actually make sure I get stuff done. Well, than being risky and then failing and then feeling bad about it. Okay, let's use our heart while it's in. And then it will charge up as we get hurt, of course. So that's something I forget. Okay. Oh. But she, if she does a full heart damage, which she is, um, then we lose two hearts before regaining one. But when you're taking half heart damage from stuff out, um, you can actually heal what you've lost. So that's the only other thing. There is some um, items you can pick up, like the, some of the holy items that reduce all one heart damage to half a heart. So if you have that as well, then 
it's perfect. But I don't have that. <laughs> so. Oh, oh, okay. So we're getting there, just need to concentrate. Oh. oh, the hand, damn the hand, so we're going, oh, close, let's get that eye, get the eye, get the side, get the foot, okay, cool, just about, just about did it, more HP up, very nice indeed, I uh, can't get out of here, so we'll carry on into the womb so the secret rooms over to the left there I think I want to move travel that way as well because it seems to be the most um, the most uh, kind of forking route so lots of rooms split off so there's more chance of finding stuff There we go, and, oh, come on, there we go, use our yum heart, and go down this way, oh, again, damn it, right, It's not popping up. Let's get rid of these things. So this is where the boss is. The number one thing we need to find. <laughs> I don't know. Is there, is there no treasure rooms in the womb? I think, I think there isn't. Is there? So it is just about getting to the boss, really. Um... I don't think we've got much chance of getting more hearts. Um, this is only the first boss, so it's usually someone quite acceptable. In this case, it's death. We'll do our best. Got our nice laser, we can at least shoot lots of those scythes at the same time. It's a shame we don't have more damage still. It just refuses to give us more damage. Which, as I was saying, is the problem with Maggie, is you get lots of heart items, but it means that you're not getting the other types of items quite as often. So, you tend to have less damage, and everything's quite slow, but you can just kind of stay alive. before anything else because that's going to give us the most grief at least we can get those knights without having to shoot them in the side and stuff which I love being able to do that so as you know that's one of my least favourite things maybe we can kill him pretty fast oh I was going for that heart and then I went and hurt myself getting it damn it maybe that uh, the horse actually hurts the knights as well, I think. And it sweeps through. Oh, right, okay, we got rid of the horse. Get rid of the mobs and the main boss. There we go. Let's grab that heart. Okay, sorted. So that's another cube of meat. So we've got an, an extra turret shooting for us. Um, I don't think we're likely to find many hearts or anything good on this floor, so I'm just going to move on rather than take the risk. So, secret room over that way, so we'll go and get that first. Luck up. Oh. Okay. Um, get rid of the spiders. Can't shoot through rocks with our laser beam unfortunately 
Are they doing full hearts of damage? Because that's really harsh if they are. Um, I think they might be, you know. Okay. Hopefully we can get a heal from the heart for completing a room. We run around fast in the... Oh, I stepped into it. Damn it. It's bomb, I think. That was a disaster. Okay, lots of coins that we don't really need. Something out that way as well. Is that a super secret room? Nice. It's just a bomb, so we'll ignore it. Actually, maybe if we run around, so it goes off. We can use this as a. Okay, so there's an arcade there. <laughs> I think we want to go to that, really, don't we? We can survive this. We can get some hearts in the arcade. Don't know where the boss is yet, do we? No. We can just get a big stockpile of hearts, I think. So maybe the boss is on the endo from the left. That feels more likely in a way. Don't know why exactly, but it just feels right to me. Um, so this might be a bit I have to edit out if I'm here for ages getting hearts. Okay, so I'm actually going to leave it there for the moment and come back here so I'm going to try and explore now I've got full health again I'm going to try and explore around see what there is so that's another machine and clear down this way there's shots okay keep on strafing so it can't aim at me properly oh a white heart so I want to leave that that might do where's the last boss isn't it but I'll leave that there and I'll pick that up before we go to the boss. I mean, it's only in the chance that we go further than into one of the further levels, uh, which is a, just a small chance of doing that. That white heart, taking that with us, would be especially useful. Or also extremely lucky if we manage to find a, a second one of those on this level. If you pick them both up at once, then it turns into a red heart container. Um, but the only time I found... Well, I mean, that one just dropped. I mean, I found them in the super secret room before, but that we've already seen. Um, so maybe we'll be lucky and one will drop randomly. Again, but it's extremely unlikely, I think. Um, sloth, double sloth. Two of them. Sloth 1 and Sloth 2. Um, let's just sort these guys out. This is laser's just so weak. Come on. It's like it's just like an actual laser pen or something. It's like, I'm going to shine this laser pen at you until you die. It takes a rather long time. Almost. There we go. Right. The stars takes you to that special room or something, doesn't it? Range up again. It likes giving me those, it seems. So, yeah, this is where the boss is. Sudden dodge, as I realise I'm shooting myself because of the clone guy. Okay, and this one heart. See, look how much better our alter, our alter Ego's shot damage is better than ours as well. Um, so that's where the boss is. I guess we 
kind of have everything we need in a way because it's not really anything else worth getting i don't need i've got the full health that was the main thing um can try and get an extra heart container from the machine maybe i should go and try and do that Let's see if we get it so i'll just do that and then i'll get that white heart as well which i'd forgotten about if i had just popped into the boss room there so that's extra health again so we need some hearts on the floor first Okay, so I'm editing this down. One thing I've just realised is every... This is going to take a full heart, but that still means I can get an extra heart for my yum heart every two hearts I donate. So for every one heart I have on the ground, I can actually donate two. So that's good. So I'll carry on. Okay, so I've got the extra blood bag. I've also got... Um, the fly item. But sneeze. <coughs> and I've got a sneeze. Um, oh yeah, let's go throw some in there for fun. Glad I did. That's balls of steel. Uh, stars card I probably don't need, but I can walk me out if I am about to die. So there's a few more possibilities to to heal myself up if I do. Um, I'll grab that white heart just as one extra, but I might lose it. Um, but it's the end of the game for the moment so let's go let's roll let's take on the heart okay i also forget that these eyeballs are here am i out of bombs no i've got loads of bombs okay it's a laser beam no i'm not quite as effective oh no oh i'm doing all sorts of things wrong right my heart's healed but um i'm still on the blue hearts at the moment Okay, so bomb, 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 bomb. Bombs are good. Bombs are good. Excellent. Keep on going. Okay. Now I'll shoot instead for a bit because there's stuff all over the ground and we're not flying. Oh, got us. That. Okay, there we go. Oh, and look, we managed to actually keep the white heart. If only we did have another level, we'd be able to take it. Okay, so what's in the box? Uh, what is it? What is it? Oh yes, that's the one I was hoping for soon. So that's money as power, which um, which basically gives you. It's an item you pick up, so you get those glasses, and then the more money you have, the more power you have. So that's brilliant because I'm always ending up with loads of money and feeling obliged to spend it all. And waste loads of time spending it all but if you have this you can just keep hold of it and it makes you more powerful so that's a good pickup as well still haven't picked up dr fetus yet have i that's my other favorite so anyway so that's all for today so that's another complete uh so it's two more and then um and then it's on to sort of like the the even harder stuff so i will see you next time <laughs>